That's a French man born in Brooklyn called Julian Verlard. That's a track called Jimmy Dean and Steve McQueen. It's a bank holiday today, but apparently it's not. It's a public holiday, which is a totally different thing anyway. The number to ring if you want to contact this programme is 0845. See the things you learn on the Nolan Show. 08459. Also, you learn not to eat. 08459-555-678 is the number to ring if you want to contact this programme. The email address is jerry.anderson at uh, bbc.co.uk and the text messaging service 81771. The thing, uh, uh, the news on everyone's lips uh, this week has been the death of RT broadcaster uh, Jerry Ryan. And it's very sad. Uh, he, he lived life to the full, if I may use that horrible phrase. He, was larger than life, but I felt I could never really forgive him for unwittingly reviving Chris Evans's career. Do you remember what the man said upstairs? Hello? Yes. No, I'm, I'm, reading, I'm reading your text messages. Are you? Yes. Well, yes, somebody I'm must. Sure. Yes. Are, are I'm, any, I'm, I'm still listening. Anything complimentary there at all? Uh, nothing so far. Not um, so. No surprise like that there, song. then. That's a good song. Emma and I didn't like it. I know. That's why I played it, because I know that it's good. It was very nondescript. It, was just it wasn't nondescript at it was, all. It's just it was, you didn't like it, because it was, you're a nondescript person. The songs you'd hear on Radio Lincolnshire or something. I don't know. It's just nothing. Radio Lincolnshire? It's just, well, for the want of another radio station. Why didn't you say Radio Norwich? Well, okay, eh? Radio eh? Norwich then. Alan wait, Partridge, wait, wait. Hey, Is that what you're trying to say? Well, I, I uh, that I'm like Alan Partridge? Is I that what you're trying to say? didn't. Yeah, yeah, you just you picked it up. Did obscure, nothing for, for your it, program. Did nothing for your personality, for your character. Should nothing does anything for my no, personality. It's, it's just a, it was just a nothing sound. I, I think I kind of like it. It's yeah. it's got something that I was, can't put my finger on. We were hoping it would end soon. We didn't like it. All right then. All right. Why don't you be a bit more cheerful in the bank holiday? There are people out there. What's the difference? People recovering from the city of Jerry Jazz Festival. What a great success that has been all week. People lying in bed. With their tongues hanging out of I their mouths. Heard a note played. I know that's because you don't go out, you don't care about Not anything. One note played Your own city I... celebrating its uniqueness, and yeah. you're lying in the house watching TV, probably. What did you do over the weekend? Anything snooker, exciting? Snooker. 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 snooker and golf. Good. Yeah. So it's an unusual weekend for yes. you then. <laughs> do you remember what the man upstairs, and I don't mean your man yeah, upstairs. The big man. No, the man upstairs here in BBC Radio 4. Yes. A man who works in this building. A couple of weeks ago, did you remember what he said? He said, they're taking them out of our pen now. Yes. And it's true. You be very careful with your heart, I'm telling you. Well, I'm, I'm telling fairly you. active. I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, snooker and golf. Well, I mean, golf I, is a I, bit I, active, I, yeah. I, I walk further than you. It's, no, I bet you didn't. I bet, I bet you I walk. I, I have walked more miles than you. I'm, I'm sure I have walked around the world. I had, what, I even been, through Iran? I was just talking to him. I was talking to a uh -huh. friend, friend last night, Ivan Park, and uh, we were just talking. I reckon I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm walking. Ivan Park. That sounds like a new housing development. It's former uh, centre forward with Derry City. I know you don't have to explain to me who these people are. I'm just trying to be a little light. Oh, Ivan Park. Yeah, yes. sounds like a housing <laughs> development. You see, you're I not going to say that to him. <laughs> You see, you're always the same on a Monday. You don't wake up until Wednesday. Number are you, it's the snooker and the golf. Ah, it's what it is. Yeah. You should have been out celebrating our city's oneness, I couldn't. uniqueness. Why didn't you go out and go to some of the events? Even I, I, what? Do you know who was up here last night? Walter Love was here last night. I was talking night. to Walter. Walter's a fine, fine man. Talking to Walter on Friday afternoon. I have a lot of time for Walter. Was that Walter? Was he up on Friday as well? Walter is here on Friday afternoon. He's here last night. And as well. I was disappointed in Walter. Very, it, very disappointed in Walter. I'm almost afraid to ask why. He had no belt in his treasures. <laughs> well, you get to that stage. He had no, and I thought, uh, that's not the Walter Love that I... Well, do you know, know the next stage? What? The string round the trousers. Oh, no, he's not. No. Well, no that's belt. the last stage, and then you die. He had no belt in his treasures. Well, you see, I, I have none either, look. I don't like that. Yeah, you see. Well, uh, why, do you, why do you insist that people have a belt in their trousers? Is it important to you? I, I, I don't... I, I, do you think it's a... A standard that should be kept up. Yeah, well, or a pair of trousers that should be kept like up. It's like a man. It's like a man with his up? trouser tucked. Uh, his trouser tucked inside his sock, and he doesn't know about it. You know that. You ever oh see a man yes, away? you see men walking along the street, Aye. and the, one of their trousers stuck down their one of their pants legs Aye. is stuck down their trousers, and they're walking along. They don't know. See, don't men know. when they get over seventy, they don't care about that. And I just said, no, no, you need you need a wee belt. Just to set set your trousers off. Set your trousers Aye, off. Just, uh, you know. Well, I've I've never thought about how best <laughs> to set my trousers off, but now perhaps I should. Here, listen, a man, this man's concerned about you. A man writes and he said, 
The whole world and his dog knows that Sean Coyle is firmly entrenched in the past. I'm sorry to have to read this, Sean. That's this has right. been revealed to the people on numerous occasions, setting your preference for films, music, and your general attitude. Some things rooted in antiquity are just wrong when suggestions are made to resurrect them. For instance, steel combs. You wanted those brought back, didn't I you? I did not. I just said, whatever happened to steel combs? No, I but the implication that, was that you no, wanted them brought oh, no, back. No, no, no. I, I never used a steel comb because I was always told they make you go bald. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't use one. And the return you of... You had one, didn't and, you? You had a steel comb. Notice how I'm steering away from that subject. Uh -huh, uh, bringing back the Lone Ranger films. Did you ever call for that? No. Bringing back the Lone Ranger? No. I remember one time the Lone Ranger was riding along the prairie mm -hmm. at a great rate of knots. And I was watching it in a, in a, in a, an apartment, a flat, should I say, in Dublin, mm -hmm. with a number of other people who weren't entirely conscious. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I, yes, yes. And... And the Lone Ranger was riding along, right? Mm -hmm. And his hat fell off. Right. He was going about 50 miles an hour, and he stopped. Mm. And went back for it. And put it on, got on his horse, and away he went again. And we right. all just stared at this. Yeah. And you know when you see something, you can't make any sense of it. Yeah. And one of the guys said, it must be tidy prairie week. <laughs> 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 I always remembered that. Uh, tidy prairie week's a great idea. It is, uh, um, Right, Lone Ranger film, but yesterday, he says, nostalgia rippled through my body when I saw another blast from the past. I saw something, he said, that I haven't seen for a very, very long time. And I think he's interested in what your opinion is on this. Do you know what he saw? A love bite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> spotting, yes, sporting the hickey yeah. was a gormless woman about 19, complete with shell suit and massive earrings. Now, we're making no comment upon the dress sense of some of our citizens. No. And I thought, when did I last see a love bite? There was a time when they were everywhere, abundant. But I haven't witnessed these purple incisions for ages and never brought one home, as my mother would have luddered the tripe out of me. My point is thus. And he wants to ask you, Sean. Yes. He says, have you ever given or received a love bite? And if so, what anatomical area are we sorry? Anatomical area are we talking about? And he says, just in passing, the clock is ticking for the Balmoral show. He says, <laughs> "Did you ever give or receive a love bite?" I, I think you don't have to answer this. No, I think on both, uh, both, both occasions, I have to say, affirmative. Uh -huh. affirmative oh, yes. the affirmative. Yes, you yes. see, it's not everybody can give one. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Uh huh. But that's when you were very young. Uh -huh. Yeah. But people have stopped doing that now. They have, thankfully. Do you remember, remember the time you had to wear a polo neck? Yes, and there was a time when if you wore a scarf, yeah. someone would say, Oh! Uh -huh. Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> right. You know? That's and now right. you wear a scarf and nobody goes, Oh! Yeah. At all. And here's something for the tourist board, and they're trying very, very hard to make sure that uh, visitors to our province have a wonderful time. And here is evidence of it here in front of me. A gentleman called Jonathan, who describes himself as the bagpiping joiner. Do people still bite their nails? Oh, look at that. Uh, but the way they use I remember look at one, me. one time, one time men were biting their nails all the time. Should every, I bite my nails every all other the time? man bite his nails. I know you have a habit. I've kept, I've kept that have tradition you stopped? up. Have you not stopped? No, no, look at mine. Look, I, I, I've been biting my nails my entire, all 45 years of my entire life. I've been biting my nails. But you don't see as many men biting their nails now. Look at me. No, no, no. Do you never see me with my hand stuck down my throat like that? Do you ever see me like that? Mm. I but started you off. You nibble I, on the side. Yes. You used to be a wee side. I used, to keep, I used to keep nails for special occasions. For instance, if I had a wee bit hanging over the end there, uh -huh. I, I would keep that for after me tea. You know, when you're sitting watching <laughs> the one show, you know, you? watching Chris Adrian Childs mm. not being there. What am I going to do tonight? No, Adrian Childs. Was it away? Yes. Did you not see the emotional farewell on Friday night? I've never the one seen show? the program. Christine says, we're sentimental tonight, but we don't care, she said. She's going to sit beside her on the sofa. She's already asked me, but I can't because I'll be going elsewhere. Anyway, uh, the tourist board have a lot to be proud of. Here's a... Is it a half-hour program? Well, I think I could... Yeah, I Chris Evans yeah. is join, he's going to join him on a Friday. Oh, yeah. They'll have guest presenters to see who fits on the sofa. Uh, anyway, Jonathan says, I have visitors from Ontario currently staying for three weeks and I thought I would take them on a visit to Belfast, as people outside Belfast call it. I'm going to sneeze now. I'm going to start sneezing. 
You look tired today. I'm not tired. I'm fine. Well, I had a very busy weekend. I was well, I was off in the flesh pots of London. You. What? I was in London the weekend. Oh, that's what it is. You're tired. No. You're no, but tired. I came back and I uh, reveling for the City of Derry Jazz Festival. Oh, yeah. So as I know little of Belfast, I decided to take them on the Belfast tour bus. Little did I know what sights of Belfast we were going to see. We boarded the bus about 11 a.m. and proceeded on the tour out past the Albert Clack and on to the Titanic Quarter. Now, at this point, the tour got really interesting for one of our Canadian tourists. Whilst taking photographs of the Thompson Dry Dock, his attention was drawn to one of the balconies on the nearby apartment block by a group of young people shouting desperately trying to get the attention of the people in the bus. When he looked across, a young blonde lady whipped off her top. Unfortunately, at this point, the battery ran out of his camera and he couldn't get a picture of this. We're going to do a tour of Derry's Walls next week. (laughs) Could you possibly tell us where we could see a young blonde lady flashing her assets in Stroke City as he would like a picture to take home. So anyone who plans to flash at the tour bus anywhere near the Derry City walls over the past next day or so, give us a ring here. 08459... I think we have a bus starting today too as well. Can't you hear me giving the phone number? Oh, sorry. 08459 555 678. That's all that's required. Yeah. We have a new yellow tour bus starting today apparently. Have we? Apparently so. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. Yeah. Uh, because, after all, we here in Derry, Stoke, London, Derry, have been sucking the hind tit for long enough. You have a call. Am I? Bob. Uh, ha- Bob? Hmm. Oh, nice. Morning, Bob. Black, Bob. Good morning, Jerry. Bob, how are you? T- what are you doing today? Are you on holiday? Are you off today? Are you no, working? We're actually going out on a wee tour in the car here. Probably go down to Newcastle or somewhere, you know, just to spend the day. Yeah, down perhaps down to Down Patrick, but you might go as far as that. Well, and in Newcastle there and have a walk around the promenade. Now, don't be sitting uh, beside the water, reading the paper no, and no, eating I've ice cream. A, no, I've got my bed and costume with me, so I'm going to have a dip anyway. You're what? You're going to have a dip? Have you been outside? Oh, yes. Today? You should come along with us and uh, no, thanks. come along with us. Have you, been outside? have you been outside today? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, maybe I'm being premature here, but it's freezing yeah. up here. Oh, well, it's beautiful down here. I've got my goddies and all on. Is it not cold? Not at all. It's really Not cold a... up here. Oh, it's beautiful down here in Newcastle. But I came out this morning, I was completely foundered. Oh, not at all. It was but beautiful some, here. Sometimes in the northwest we get some very uncomplimentary winds. Well, that's absolutely. It all depends what you're reading to. Really? Yes, in... indeed. <laughs> well, what, what do you recommend I eat so that I don't be cold? Well, I would say a big fr- Ulster fry would do well. No, 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 I've gone past that. What oh, about we've a... gone past that? Yeah, what about a bowl of porridge? A bowl of porridge would do all right. Okay. Or a good drop of homemade soup. All right, then. Well, well what are you going to do? Right, Jerry. What are you going to do today apart from that? Funny little. Funny little. Okay. Now, well, I'll tell you what I want, eh, Jerry? Yes. Uh, as a boy, I used to I used the uh, fossiling hair tonic. Now, I'm 80 years of age now, and... Unfortunately, they've taken it off the market here. And I'm just wondering if there's any chemists out there or anyone would have maybe a few bottles left over and I would bat off them. <laughs> maybe they can make a request for me. Vaseline hair tonic. Hair tonic. Yes. Is that... Is that uh, <laughs> now, wait a minute now. I vaguely remember I know exactly. What, that's the barber used to put it on you. It's the, the exactly, bottle. yes. Remember the barber used to say, do you want me to drop a hair tonic there, son? No. I'll tell it. me... Is it, is it like a, is it a <laughs> brill cream? Is it's it... a liquid form. It's clear. liquid. Yeah, that like a... stuff you used to put, you used to sprinkle it on your head. He sprinkled yeah. it on your head. Did he, did, he, did he rub it into your scalp? Yes, with his yes, fingers. Of course. Oh, he so needed that... it into your scalp. Yes. That... Yeah. Whether you needed well. it or not. And then yes. he, had a, he had a wee puff thing. Well, no, maybe he wouldn't work every day. No. <laughs> no, a wee, a wee, a talc thing. A wee, a wee, a wee rubber thing that he just, he no, 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 yeah, do you remember Are you from that? this country at all? But do you remember that, the wee rubber bottle? Not at all, no. I, no, but please, do you not remember it? Somebody remember Sean, it. Sean, it's okay. Do you not remember no. it, Jerry? It's all right, it's Sean. Great. If, if, he, if, he, if he gives it's you a right, wee Sean, rough cut at the back Sorry. of your neck. It's all right, he's getting upset. Jerry, I'll just he, leave he him screwed the cap off and put a wee top on your hand what he wants and wants to rub it into your hair. He wants to remember, do you remember the wee rubber bottle? Not at all. You're talking about something from the weekend or something like that? What are you talking about? Emma wants to know what does hair tonic do? Is it for dandruff? 
No. That's, that encourages the hair. This is what, it encourages the hair to grow. What it yes. does, it, 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 it freshens up your follicles. <laughs> but do you not remember the wee rubber bottle? What will you stop about the rubber bottle? He's talking about... It was, a, it was a wee orangey type rubber bottle. And it used to be oh, woof, no. woof, at the back of your neck if, if he give you a rough cut. That was a wee powder thing. A wee powder thing, yes. That's I said, I mean. rem- it's all right. Sure. I can't do that, all right. But we know like that. We know. We're not talking about powder puffs. Oh, but I just we're talking about hair tonic. I, I just, and do you remember the card on the wall with the, with the, with the, with the plastic uh, bebop combs? Do you remember that? The, you, you buy a comb for... Sean, it's all right. Oh, I remember that. It's okay. Sorry. Uh, yes? You've got my telephone number there, haven't you? I have you? indeed, yes. Right. If anyone... Has Vaseline got hair tonic. Yes. Vaseline hair, it's not, it doesn't seem too much to ask. Vaseline no. hair tonic. Anyone's got a few bottles lying around somewhere or some chemist who's gone bust. Yes, got, that, <laughs> yes that's got, that often. I know, I know. Can okay. you do that for me? I will. I, 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 can, I, can I say, what? What? <laughs> What do you mean, what area? What, what, area? what does it matter what area? Well, is it, did he not hear the man saying he's going for a run to Newcastle? He's obviously from Belfast. <laughs> are, are you, Bob? Aren't you from that Belfast? Does, doesn't matter, Sugan. You're from Belfast. Aren't you, yes, aren't you from, from Belfast, Belfast, Bob? You're from Belfast, yes. Bob. And you'll travel yes. anywhere. Oh, yes, he didn't anywhere. say he'd travel anywhere. Well, he just what? wants a few bottles of Vaseline hair tonic. I know a, I know a chemist in Port Stewart. I'm sure you do. Is he prepared to travel to Port Stewart? Yeah. Yes, there's no problem. That's okay. If, he's, if a man's going to go to Newcastle, Port Stewart is not beyond his grasp. The man in Port Stewart may not have them. I just know a chemist in Port Stewart. I know a chemist in Saintfield. He mightn't have them either. No. All right, listen, to... never mind this, sir. I know you're confused, but we'll, 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 we've got your number and we'll let you know. Thank I you. I, I think I fell out there. His head's away there. His head's away there. It's, he's not well. No, he's not. Him and he Nolan wanna... are not themselves. And I'm, the only, I'm the only one that's okay. Jerry, you yes. want to give Mr. Dalton say and chase him? I wish somebody would give me some. I'd go <laughs> voluntarily. All right, then. See you later. We'll get you that hair tonic. Don't you worry. Good man, Jerry. <laughs> there was a man used to cut my there's, hair. There, 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 there's a, a call or two. The man used to cut my hair, and they called him. You know what they called him? The wee what? giant. Oh, no. Do you remember him? No. It was, it was just at the fringe of the bog side. Bay was... Rum. Pardon? Bay Rum. Bay Rum. Yes. What does that mean? That's the name of the hair tonic that uh, Jerry's talking about. It's, uh, you and the man's talking about. No, that's about. the stuff you drink in St. Lucia. No, Bay Rum's what you're talking about. Bay Rum. Yes. Bay Rum. The you see, you put me off my entire giant. subject. The, the we the giant, giant used to have a barber shop just on the fringe of the bog side. That's where I'm from. A little street called Pilot's Row. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Beside Maggie Fields Chip Shop. Mm-hmm. But he went in there and used, my father used to bring me over. And uh, he used to smoke, you see. Your and father? He, he, well, my father did smoke, but I'm not talking... The wee giant smoked. The reason why he was called the wee giant, because he was very tall for a small man. Right. So, and um, what he used to do was, he used to smoke a lot. And because he smoked, he'd smoke behind you. At that time, I didn't mind that so much, because my father smoked at home all the time. Right. No, he didn't mind. Yeah. Our, our house was always cigarette mm. smoke, so right. it was no big thing for me. So, uh, so when he was cutting your hair, but the only thing I used to find that the ash used to fall under your shoulders. Well, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that used to upset me just a little bit, but not too much. The thing that upset me most of all was because he was such a heavy smoker. Every once in a while, he had to go oh, right. right. So he had a spittoon oh, beside right. him. Okay, you can. Okay, you don't have to give us the details. And what he would do was he the spittoon was just it wasn't actually beside him. He didn't put it beside him. Do you know why he didn't put it beside him? Because if you cut the hair, ah, the hair would okay. fall into it. Ah, okay. So the spittoon was a wee oh. bit forward. So in other words, he had to spit across you okay. to get into the spittoon. So he'd go... <laughs> and I used to feel this stuff coming past your ear and get over your shoulder into the spittoon. And you see, to this day, if a man comes up and spits at me, I say, I say to him, have you got any Vaseline hair tonic? There's a coffee and tea. Hello, Good morning. Good morning, Jai. I'm sorry that that unpleasant topic of conversation had to be dealt with, but somebody has to talk about these things. Yes, Jai. Well, now, listen, I know you're older than Sean. Yes, I, I am. I know indeed. you don't look it. I know I don't look it, but I am, actually. Yes, I know. But Sean's absolutely right. In what he, way? Though the barber used, after he was finished leveling your neck off, the barber used to give you a wee puff of this, like, talc and powder stuff. Yeah, but that's not the thing we were talking about. We that were talking about that. That is the thing. We were talking about oh, hair Sean. tonic. Oh, Sean, I remembered. Uh, I'm not going to ask him. I'm not going to start him again. 
No, I have, I've acknowledged that there was a wee rubber thing with a wee poof in it. No, it was a puffer. A puffer, yes, not yes. what I said. It puffs you, it, 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 it would uh, soothe your skin. It was like aftershave balm that no, you get now. We no, didn't call it. it was like talcum powder. But it, like... I'm not sure it I like his a, attitude. No, it is right. It wasn't a bomb. It was a wee puff. A wee, no, but wee do you know what a bomb is? Powder. A bomb is not. A bomb is something soothing. A bomb is liquid, Jay. No, it's not. Powder. No, it's this not. It's powder. Ja- Sean, will you tell him? Will you keep him right there? Yes, it was a powder puff. I've just turned the two of them off because I suddenly realised I'm being surrounded. And I understand what I'm trying to say, but why can't they hear me? All I'm saying is it doesn't matter if it's powder. It's a bomb, but it can be powder. It can be liquid. It's what's called a post-shave soother. Why don't these people just leave me alone? I'm not talking to anybody anymore. I can't take it. I'm going I'm to play a record. See what I did there? Yeah, you were hateful. I was yeah, so hateful, hateful there. I, I just gave up. I that uh, hair tonic. I just gave up on the whole lot of you. Super drug. Huck, stop. Ah. Can you get Valentine's val- Vaseline hair tonic Woodside and super drug? stores and lard. Ah. What a great bank holiday this is to celebrate this. I can tell where this is going to. 